guys, Jim Parquet here with VPX Baseball, and today we're going to do lesson two of heel connection, right? Heel connection is one of the foundation building blocks of your delivery. You can mess with all this upper half stuff, and really, um, us top level pitchers is, and, and player developers think it's a bunch of eyewash, because it really is. Because lower half stuff is what determines the upper half, right? And it starts in your heels. That's basically where it goes. Check out our other video in this lesson plan to understand kind of the concepts that we're talking about, but we're going to get into it, okay? So the first aspect of heel connection, and we're putting you behind so you can see it coming out of my fingers, and you can see kind of how the hitter is going to, to view it, because that's ultimately how we train. From down there, because that's your product, and then we figure out how to fix or refine the product from here. Not let's make it happen here and then work down there. Big difference, right? Because here at VPX, we train impact pitching to where you are going to move on to the next level. When that number three and four hitter come up, you're able to actually compete against them rather than they're probably going to dominate you more than more times than not, right? So heel connection is pretty basic here. We're going to ride this back hip as far down slope as possible. So it's going to look like this. This is the action we want. So that way, down slope, we're able to support our upper half and keep it propped up, especially on slope. Because if you're walking on a slope, you're gonna have to lean back more. That's why us pitchers work more this way than hitters, right? Because we're moving down slope. And by the time we get to slope, we're gonna be pretty balanced with some elevation on shoulders. But this is underneath us. Therefore, when we go into release and hip turn, we actually have support for our shoulder and we're able to unlock all the velo. You'll see the differences here, right? So again, we work with a, a, a theoretical uh, button underneath our back heel. When we're on it, that means we're not using, okay? But when, as soon as we come up, we have to rotate. That's the on button. We've got to use the energy. You have to rotate and release, okay? So I'm going to stay on this as long as I can, but I'm just going to kind of work here so you can see, okay? So that's a little early, right? Now that might have looked okay for you, but it's still early because I'm not feeling this action to where I'm feeling everything unlock and extend. Like that catapulting, right? The catapulting effect where we're like that, I'm feeling more of a pull. So if I'm feeling, if you're feeling a pulling sensation where you're going sideways and you're having to pull your arm through, and then you cut it off at the end, right? We pull it through and then you gotta compete and cut it off. You're not heel connected, right? So let's stay close, long. Little better, little better. I'm gonna go for the outer half here. Try to work that. That felt pretty good, okay? I'm gonna get even longer. Watch my back heel. Watch how late it stays loaded or on the ground. Right there, okay? One more time so you can kind of get the frame in your mind. Okay? So now, I feel like I've ascertained that, but I don't feel that full catapulting effect. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty connected. feel like I'm keeping this down as long as I can, and I'm playing with it. I got the yin and yang of it, right? Here would be one more time for you. I'm gonna go even longer. Feels pretty good. Now I'm gonna go bad to where a bad pitcher or a guy who doesn't throw very hard is not heel connected. Watch my back heel. You can see my back leg comes up so quick, it's like boingoing, right? Watch it again. You're gonna see it come up probably about midway through my loadout. About right here. You can see I have to pull compared to drive, right? Big difference. I'm basically coming off, which is the second portion of heel connection. I've got to ride my back hip with my head all the way into front toe strike, okay? Got to be this way on it, right? This way compared to this way. So I could still be down, but if I'm like this, no good. If I'm like this, it's going to be good because think about this, support, no support, right? So let's work that. Okay, I'm going to stay taller, longer, chest out into the, the, the target. So right here, chest out, create the power sail, and I'm going to ride my back hip into it. Okay, 
So there we go. Feel good right there. Again. Okay. One more time. Exaggerate it for you. All right. Now I'm going to not do a run. You can see I pull off. You can see my arm, right? And here's what the hitter would see. If you don't heel connect. I can see your fastball. I can see your breaking ball. I can see your changeup before you throw it. Because good hitters don't really necessarily look at fingers. They look at this fleshy part. There's a change in it. Or I see it early, right? This fleshy part of when you throw, they're going to pick up on it. Because here's fastball, right? So that would be fastball, slider, curveball, okay? But if I open up, right, and I'm back here, fastball, curveball, right? Change up, you can see much bigger differences, okay? I'm going to strap into our harness to really help myself out here. Our harness is used by over 22 MLB clubs, thousands worldwide, it absolutely gives you what you need in order to be successful because if it pulls your back foot off the ground, that's because you're not heel connected. You're doing this, you're prematurely rotating, you're not riding and being heel connected. If you don't feel it, then you're heel connected, right? So it picks out all of the issues that are, are in your delivery, that are power outages, velo drops, and, and movement deficiencies, right? So, I'm going to start with it and I'm just going to go on feel. If I don't feel it, then great. If I do feel it, I'm going to work backwards to where I felt it and stay more loaded or loaded longer through that process, right? I actually felt pretty good there. Okay? Again. I feel good. I feel really good right there. Okay? Here's my breaking pitch. Okay. Again, another breaking ball. I went from high to low on that, right? That's a chest thing. Now here, if I feel it, let's see what happens. I already felt it. Because what I did was I jumped, right? I jumped out and then I started pulling my back heel up, but this is what it would look like if you threw that way. You can see your foot just get boings up, right? Which obviously we don't want. A lot of guys, if they got bad mechanics, this will push them forward to the point where sometimes we've actually seen guys fall, right? So, you know, a lot of our pro guys, they talk about this, they hate this thing because it shows them how bad their delivery is, but they work and they compete and they get it right. Right? Here's a breaking ball throwing poorly. I can't really get up on it. I feel like I'm back here. Right? So in review, stay over your backside, drive longer, into foot strike, heel connect. Okay? One more time on that. Again, just pick out my back heel, watch how it stays loaded longer. Okay? And then the slider or slurve, I threw a slurve, here's my breaking pitch. All right, so you get the idea. Um, we've got some more drills coming your way in lesson three, and hopefully you like this video, give us a like, and we got a full line of products to get you to the big ones.